Hi, I'm Anupama Lakshman. I'm a fourth year bioengineering PhD grad student at Caltech. I did my undergrad at the National University of Singapore in bioengineering and I have three years of working experience before I applied to grad school in the Institute of Bioengineering and Nanotechnology in Singapore. So uh, I applied to about six schools for when I was applying for PhD, uh, Duke, uh, Northwestern, University of California, Berkeley, UCSF joint bioengineering program, Caltech, MIT and Harvard. And and so I you had offers from Caltech, MIT and Harvard? Uh, I had offers from UC Berkeley, UCSF, the joint bioengineering program uh -huh. and uh, Caltech and I chose Caltech because of the unique research environment that it provides, the student to faculty ratio, the really strong emphasis on both fundamental and applied research and the access to resources and collaborative atmosphere at this institute because it's a small enough institute that allows collaboration between departments, not to mention the very strong academic lineage that Caltech has that has produced so many like Nobel laureates and inspiring people. The science here for the field that I was interested in, which is protein engineering, was also great with a lot of luminaries in the field working here. So that really helped me make my decision. So um, you started your PhD in 2000, uh, uh, 2010, uh, sorry, uh, 2013, and I'll be graduating in 2019. Expected. Oh, six-year program? Yeah. Five, the average is 5.7 and uh, biology typically takes six years. Uh, I'm see. targeting five years but mm -hmm. I'm expecting it to be six. So what kind of research do you do? Uh, so my work focuses on non-invasive brain imaging using genetically encoded uh, molecular reporters uh, for ultrasound. So this is a relatively new field and it has a lot of impact because uh, recent even talks by President Obama have highlighted how it's important to develop new tools and technologies to be able to image the brain in living breathing organisms and humans and animals and how this would open up many exciting areas for uh, brain research, fundamental brain research to cure diseases such as Alzheimer's and even like cancers that happen in the brain. So we are developing this new class of molecular imaging agents based on ultrasound uh, that will help us uh, do this kind of non-invasive imaging in intact organisms. I see. So um, like uh, how do you rate your experience here on 5 Star? Uh, I would say like a 4.5. I see. Uh, so what could have been better? It's very positive. And uh, uh, what, I mean, I think it's great to be in a, in a, a research institute such as Caltech where there are uh, just the right number of students, especially in grad school where you can have a lot of faculty interaction. I would say that maybe having a hospital closer to campus would have helped in more clinical research. Uh, in terms of uh, the, the closeness. Uh, we still have a lot of collaborations with the City of Hope and like other, uh, other hospitals like UCLA Medical Center. But I think having a hospital near campus would definitely help in more of those So the nearest concerts. one would be like UCLA? Yeah, the nearest one would be UCLA. So you, you, do you have to travel there to meet with those people? And yes. Or you think that's like a little cumbersome? Uh, I would say that even more projects would happen on campus, like translation projects, if it was, uh, if, if we had a medical center right there. Like Huntington is probably the closest actually. Mm -hmm. uh, but having something on campus really helps medical students and uh, bioengineers to collaborate even more. I see. So um, like, uh, did you have to take GRE? Yes. So can you tell us your GRE score? If you don't? Uh, I think it was 90, above 95 percentile in like both verbal It was about, uh, out of 340, right? Yeah, it was 332, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's a very high score. <laughs> and uh, TOEFL? Did you have to take uh, TOEFL? No, 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 not TOEFL. Because, because you grew up in Singapore. From, yeah, no, I did my undergrad in Singapore and Singapore is ex exempted from the TOEFL requirement. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah. So, um, like, um, um, so after this, do you want to be in academia or industry? Uh, I haven't decided yet. I think I'll make my decision close to graduation, probably a year before graduation. I'm 50-50. So, I'm like, most of your, like, program people, like, where do they end up, like, as... I think it's uh, a lot of people go into... Uh, Caltech has a very strong academic, uh, like, lineage. So, a lot of people do postdocs. But there are also a significant number, especially in chemistry, chemical engineering, and bioengineering bio that go into an industry R&D position. I see. So, um, which are some of the top employers in the industry for bioengineering at Caltech? I would say Amgen, um, Genentech, uh, Illumina, there are a couple in the Bay Area and Boston. So, uh, 
it's divided between that and then startups a lot of startup companies uh, genomic companies uh, cancer research companies that are based off in these areas even LA uh, San Francisco and Boston I and see. Pennsylvania so what kind of advice do you have for future students do you recommend Caltech definitely yeah uh, yeah and i would say that it's great uh, it's a great learning experience and i think uh, students should come in with the attitude to learn uh, phd is a time when you consolidate on what you know and when you learn a lot of new things as well so as long as you have an open mind and you have an eager mind to learn i think this this place will give you a lot of opportunities to grow and develop all right thank you very much and best of luck in your future endeavors thank